Hey guys, welcome to Product Focus Friday. Oh my gosh, I have cat hair everywhere. As the cat jumps up, I wonder why. Um, we are on the last Friday this month. This is going up late, and I apologize. But if you recall, we are playing with pretty little studio stash items. So I haven't touched these two sticker sets. And since we are also playing with paper and focusing on paper today, and um, what we picked out of the hat was a kit, um, I've decided I'm going to play with these pretty little studio um, stickers. I'm going to do one of my almost last sketches, 430 Days of Sketches, uh, from the 24th. Did I do all the other ones? I did. Um, this sketch was by... Hold on. Okay, I don't know why I didn't look that up before I started filming. Uh, the sketch is by Dolly Boyd. Love it. It's very classic, simple, but you can do a ton with it because she, she left lots of room for... Yeah. And I'm playing along with a Daddy About Flare Crop Challenge. Um, I don't remember if the crop is still going on when I'm filming this. I don't think so. Um, but I think the challenges are not due for a while. So um, one of the challenges, which one was it? It was a surprise challenge from Adam. And so it was, you have to include certain things and then add a bonus, uh, document a meal or food. And this was our Valentine's Day meal um, that year. We smoked lobster tails in our new smoker. <laughs> so we tried that out. It was delicious. So that's what I'm going to play with. And so the kit I'm going to play with, we're going to do sketch, playing with our pretty little studio. The kit I'm going to play with is from Citrus Twist. It's the Flea Market Finds kit because I thought the colors all went well together. It comes with this lovely um, paper pad and some cut aparts. It's a very fall-esque this was taken in February, so that doesn't matter. Um, there's food on here, though, and um, these are very Thanksgiving-ish, um, but that is what's on there. There's some lovely uh, pocket cards. There's these nice tile alphas, some cardstock word stickers, a big pack of ephemera with lots of goodies in it, some chipboard um, stickers, lots of frames, some phrases, that kind of thing, these awesome enamel dots. So that is fun. This is the, yeah, the flea market finds. Um, it was in 2021 that they did this kit. So I'm going to add that. And then I will, so the items you have to include for this challenge are limes or lime green, blue, do a half and half, could be the layout is half and half, or an element, um, vertical lines, AKA stripes, um, a wood grain element, a foodie embellishment, and confetti sprinkles sequins. Um, and he said he's basing on Miranda-isms. <laughs> um, so just lots of little nibbles. So I've got, I've got all those things covered pretty much in this kit. Pretty sure there was a wood grain in there, a wood grain in there. The only thing I have to worry about is really the half and half. And so I'm not quite sure, um, how I'm going to do that with this sketch. So I got to figure that out. Um, I might do half and half element something or maybe my matting will be half and half I don't know I haven't decided I'll figure that out but let me go I got you know it's it's not 12 by 12 though so I gotta go find some 12 by 12 paper I think this is 2020 is the year we did that for Valentine's Day I gotta look that up I have no clue um but uh yeah let me go look, grab a 12 by 12 paper, figure out a background paper, and we'll get started. All right, so I opted after digging through my stash and kind of looking, looking, looking. I ended up getting this watercolor paper I have from a paper pad. I can't remember what it's called at the moment. Um, I could go grab it for you. Uh, but, and just matting a piece of white cardstock on that. I just couldn't decide on what type of background I liked, and I, li I kind of like the simple clean for some reason. I backed my photo in a kind of lime greenish paper from the 6x8 paper pad from the Citrus Twist pad that I had, and then I grabbed this wood grain paper, so I've got my wood grain all set. So I've already got my lime green, and I've already got my wood grain. I'm set to go for that part of the challenge. Um, and I've got blue and that was another reason I wanted the watercolor, but it was like too much by itself as a background. So I've got blue and green. So we've got all that. 
Uh, I just need my confetti, aka my sequins, a foodie embellishment, a, um, and stripes, and then the half and half, which I think I'm going to do with the half and half element down here. So I was going to glue this down. I think I'm going to have it actually go over, yeah, over the border. This is very, this is very clean, simple, not my typical style. I'm usually a lot more chaotic in my crafting. And I think I mentioned this going up late um, from when I normally post. So I apologize if you were anticipating a video and didn't get one on Friday. But hopefully I got my stuff together. Okay. And um, Dolly's sketch just has been, it looks like essentially kind of like a title right here and then an element with some journaling, which is perfect because I can journal on that. But I'll do like a half and half design on that. And I think we'll just put the title on the wood grain, whatever we decide the title to be. Hello, kitty cat. Let's see what we got for journaling cards. That might be kind of fun because it matches that color up there really, really well. That actually might be a really good title. Um, yeah. Oh, I have this quote on my son's wall. feel like I could trim this down and make this the half and half element. Ouch. Three by four card. So as long as this part is one and a half. seems like a waste of a card I know um, and we want it to be trimmed down probably to more like let's see what three inches looks like yep liking that okay so this is four inches so we're gonna take a half inch off here and a half inch off here Definitely seems like more than a half inch, but we'll go with it. Okay. And that's my half and half, even though it's a little, it's a little less than half, but that's okay. Down right here. I have a good ephemera piece I can document on. That's what makes me wonder. Maybe. Or. So I got my half and half. I just need my sequins and my food. Um, embellishment, which coming right up. <coughs> oh. 
You all right? Yep. Oh, I kind of want to put that there. Do that good things. It's none of them are very big. I'll have to see how big my journaling is to decide um, what it needs to go in as. Ooh, it's so good. Yeah. Could be my title. Ooh, I kind of like that. This is going to be bigger, but I don't know if I want it that big because it's the size of these cards and I want the journaling to be a little bit smaller than that. Put the little croissant. Right here. Yeah. I hear them spawn and then spawn here. This kind of looks like that. So we're gonna, yeah, this washi kind of looks like the pattern that's up there. I just can't tell if that word is getting, it's getting kind of lost, I think. Gonna scatter some of these stickers around. I don't think I need another washi unless I do like a little bit of one right down there, but I think I think what I've got is good. I kind of like this is the very best of times. <laughs> this tiny little. Peace. Okay. I think. I think I'm going to get different stickers for my title. But yes, I think so good or something is going to be the so let me get my journaling, figure out some letter stickers to do a title. We'll do a title right here and then um, get my sequence picked out and we'll sprinkle some sequins around as well. All right, I will be right back. All right, I opted for just this XO that is in a foam thicker that I've been trying to use up. I grabbed some Golden Gates 
um, sequins. I want some of these pinkish iridescent ones is what I'm going for. And we're just going to sprinkle some of those around uh, with the others. We're not going to do too crazy. So yeah, my journaling um, fit barely in my little spot there. It's really tiny, but uh, I really enjoyed it. So yeah, this was 2019, 2019 Valentine's Day. Okay. So there you have it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I apologize that my schedule has been crazy off. I'm hoping to get back on schedule. I keep saying that one of these days it'll happen, but I appreciate you all. Thanks for sticking with me. Um, I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time.